This video will provide an overview of the purchasing functions in Dynamics NAV 2016. And I am currently assuming the role of purchasing agent for this overview. So from here, once I've gone through that new purchase order process, the next thing that I want to do is receive that purchase order. And so um, as a purchasing agent, this might be something that, that would be my job. It might be someone in the warehouse as well. We're just gonna keep our focus on the purchasing agent right now and have that person go through the entire process. So in this section called post-arrival follow-up, I'm going to um, go into my outstanding purchase orders and we'll find that Coolwood Technologies purchase order right here. Uh, 106059, let's go ahead and open it. Double click on it to open it up here. And I can see here in the lines that I have five to receive. And so if I receive five, um, all I have to do is just post that receipt. If I receive less than five, then I can record that here and then it'll hold that, that open and wait for the remainder um, to be received. We're just gonna go ahead and receive everything. Um, so I'm gonna do the receive here. Now the idea here is that we've got a three-way match. We've got someone receiving, someone generating the purchase order, someone receiving against that purchase order, and then later uh, accounting will match the invoice to the receiving. So um, I'm just going to do the receive process right now. So we'll go ahead and post that. Now you'll notice here, let's come back out here, it's moved out of that queue and it's now in the not invoiced queue. So this might be the accounting people who come in later um, when they receive the invoice from the vendor and match that up. And I'm just gonna scroll over here again. You can see my quantity received here is now five and I've got a quantity to invoice and I could override that to match the invoice that I received from my vendor. And so um, because I received five, my invoices for five, everything matches, I'm gonna go ahead and, and just choose to post the invoice. And so now what this does is it creates my accounts payable for me. And I of course have to enter in my vendor invoice number. That was a required field that I neglected to, to enter. So let's try once again to post this. And so now we've gone through the entire process of updating our inventory, making that purchase, receiving it into our inventory, and then also updating accounts payable with the invoice that we received from our vendor. This concludes the video on NAV 2016 purchasing.